as you guys know, I like to make videos of all the fun facts to be found in the Star Wars novels. Unfortunately, I didn't start that until the Aftermath books, and there are a handful I just don't have time to read again. Fortunately, my friend Marvel Star Wars, who writes blog posts of the fun facts, is helping me out with the older books. I'll link to his post in the description, but today we're going through all of the fun facts, references, connections, and easter eggs he found in the book Lords of the Sith by Paul S. Kemp. Cham Syndulla, a prominent character in a couple episodes of The Clone Wars, is one of the protagonists of the book and the leader of the Free Ryloth movement. The legacy of his Free Ryloth movement can later be seen in Star Wars Rebels, Aftermath Life Debt, and Bloodline. The book was released not long after Star Wars Rebels began airing, so there are a few vague references to the show. Inquisitors get a call out and Hera gets brief mentions at the beginning and end of the book. Cham's deceased wife and son aren't mentioned directly as Rebels hadn't established them or the circumstances of their deaths yet. Many aspects of the planet Ryloth in the book have origins in earlier Legends material. Real spice production on the planet goes back to the Star Wars source book from West End Games, and it played a significant role in the old X-Wing books. Lilacs, dangerous native predators, were first seen in the Rogue Squadron comics before being named by Dan Wallace in the Essential Guide to Planets and Moons. The other native predator, Gutkers, came from the Clone Wars. The Ryloth capital city of Lesu was first seen and identified in the Republic comics before appearing in the Clone Wars. The Yaga Minor shipyards were created by Timothy Zahn for the Thrawn trilogy, and they get a mention in this book. The idea that Vader flies multiple customized Eta interceptors goes back to the new essential chronology, and another one was shown in canon previously in Tarkin. A tie-in short story written for Star Wars Insider called Orientation, which features fan-favorite character Rey Sloan, depicts an event that happens while Palpatine and Vader are en route to Ryloth on the Defiance. The novel references the story briefly by mentioning that the duo traveled on the ship, and by Palpatine ignoring Captain Lewitt when he says he trusts the trip went well. Vader recalls numerous moments and characters from the Clone Wars, including Ahsoka rescuing him from a floating escape pod above Ryloth after crashing into a droid control ship, as seen in the episode Storm over Ryloth. Palpatine's philosophy of when the head is removed, the body must soon die aligns with his philosophy regarding the Empire after his death, as seen through his contingency in Shattered Empire, Battlefront II, and Aftermath Empire's End. Palpatine uses the ancient Sith words for death and fate as aliases for himself and Vader. While the specific words are new, the idea of the Sith having an ancient language goes back to the Tales of the Jedi comics and legends, initially the native tongue of the Sith species before being adopted by the Sith Order. The Twi'lek villagers speak Rill, one of the names for the Twi'lek language and legends first introduced in the Ultimate Alien Anthology from Wizards of the Coast. And those are all the facts that Marvel Star Wars pulled out of the book. Again, if you want to read his very informational blog, I link to it in the description, so please go check it out. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.